I take great satisfaction in having my cousin daily pages decorated ahead of time. So I figured what better to do today than have a little surprise couple pages done in March. Hey everybody, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for hanging out. Um, like I said, I wanted to get ahead a little bit. So I wanted to use the Sweet Kawaii Design Kawaii Kit. Um, now, if you're watching this video um, today, you know that this kit is available, or maybe you don't, but I will tell you that this kit is available through the 10th of January. So um, it's only available for a few more days if you love it. Um, I think it's really cute. It's got the new character Biscuit. Life is sweet, and it's all French cafe themed. Now, I've never been to France. I've never been to a French cafe, but I can imagine that it's this cute and this fun. So, um, to me, this isn't super wintry. It's more springy with all the flowers. Although, really, you could probably use it whenever you wanted. But, I don't know. I don't think I want to put it in my daily pages in January. So, I'm going to skip ahead and do a couple in March, which, it's like bonus. It's a nice little surprise. I actually did this last year with an October kit. <laughs> it was so nice when I opened up my cousin. I was like, oh my gosh, I have some decorated pages. So, because, let's face it, by the time I get to March, I'll forget that I even did this. So, I wanted to use this and get ahead. Um, so, you can see I'm trying really, really hard to keep up to date with my cousin. Um, you can see I have part of next week ready to go. I started doing these two pages and I stopped. I'm hoping that maybe today I can finish these two and get these two done with kind of wintry pages. Um, I could do that right now, but you know what? I really wanted to play. I really wanted to play with this kit, so I'm going to. Um, I'm going to skip ahead to March. Now, if you watched my last video where I went through all my planners, you'll know that this is a 2023 Hobonichi Cousin. I bought it when it was on clearance or sale or whatever um, because it was already partway through the year. But it also means that it's not dated for this year, right? It's dated for last year, which is fine because um, as you can see, I cover everything up anyway so I can date it myself. But I was thinking, because at first I thought, oh my gosh, I can put this jumbo sticker here. It'll be so cute. But then I realized... I'm going to need this page because we have a February 29th this year. So I'm not going to put the jumbo there. I'll have to put it somewhere else in another planner or something like that. Um, because I will need that page as a day. Um, okay, so when I do my cousin pages, I like to cover up this area down here. I don't need this little calendar. Um, I cannot read this. I am sadly only, I can only speak one language. And so... Um, I don't know what that says, um, so I don't need it. And then I cover up all of this too. So, of course, then I'm gonna have to decide oh, what I wanna use. And um, looking at this, I'll need to use the same one, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll use this for a second daily cousin thing. Because Here's my dilemma, right? Because you're probably like, what are you talking about? If I use, say, like this one and this one, because I can do that because it's a daily, that means if I use this for a weekly spread, I'm not going to have matching ones. But hmm, we'll see. I don't know. Dilemmas, you know, you don't want to like use this stuff, but you know, what? You, ha you have to use it, right? I have to use it. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to use... <laughs> and I continue to be indecisive, I will use maybe the blue flowers. Super cute. And, you know, this doesn't cover everything up, and that's okay. And it's a little bit too long. This is the, I get the vertical size kit. Um, I also actually get the cousin size, but I use that for my weekly spreads. Um, but what I'm realizing with that too is I can certainly use the bottom washi and it would be the right or the right size for my cousin. Um, but I like the full box stickers. Okay, so I used that and then I guess I'll use the pink croissants. Croissants and treats and I guess it's not just croissants. It's all kinds of fun stuff. Put that down here. Cover all this stuff up. And I try, I don't, I don't know about you, if you use a cousin page or even just really any thinner paper, 
if you kind of stretch the vinyl stickers, right? If you're trying to like, oh, I'm trying to get this straight line and you stretch it a little bit too much, then the pages curl up. And that happens to me all the time. This happened to not do it. So that made me really happy with that. Um, okay, so I'm done with the bottom washi. I can put it away. I do need to do the dates on here. So let's see. Oh gosh, see, this is where I get messed up because this is not going to be, this will be March 1st, but it will be a Thursday, not a Wednesday. Yes, Thursday, Friday. Hmm. You know what? I probably should look that up because I know my son's birthday, my son's birthday is on the 3rd. And his birthday is on a Sunday. Oh, because we've done leap year. That's why. So the first is going to be a Friday. The second is going to be a Saturday. And the third is going to be that Sunday. Okay. Those dates always mess me up. This is what I have to be careful of because I'm like, ooh, I'll be so resourceful. So let's see. I'm going to have Thursday, no, Friday the 1st. Friday the 1st. And... Saturday the second. Okay, so I want to do this. Grab these off here. It always seems to be that the corner I try to grab from is the one that I can't grab it. Okay, I don't need that anymore. Do you do that when you're planning? It's like, okay, this page I don't need anymore. Let me get it out of the way because I feel like I go through the pages so much because I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything and using everything I want to use. Okay, and then when I grab a header, because I like to bring the color up here to the top, I will usually grab the header that matches the bottom washi. I don't know why, I just do, and that's what I like. So I continue to do it because I'm certainly someone who gets stuck in my ways. That's for certain. Okay. There we go. Whoops. Then I'm going to need to find some washi that's going to go really good up here. Okay, let's see how this looks. This is a Simply Gilded washi. Obviously, I've never opened. Um, when they had their big sale, I don't know if it was like Black Friday, maybe. Um, I stocked up on, I love the Stardust washi. I think that's what it's called. And so since they were having a sale, I stocked up on some because I use this a lot in my cousin. And then also potentially in my daily duo. And I'm sitting here trying to find where it starts and I can't find it. Okay. Anyway, oh, there it is. This is just this cute kind of checkered gingham blue. The blue is not perfect, but that's okay. It's good enough. Okay. Put that down. Anyway, does anybody else feel that way? It's like, oh, you kind of get stuck in this habit of how this is kind of how you do things. And so therefore, because this is how you've done it. And, you know, that's not, I hate it when people are like, well, this is how we need to do it because this is how it's always been done. That's not necessarily a good thing, right? There is something to definitely be said about tradition and the importance of tradition and history and all of that. But it's also, I think, not good to say, well, this is how it's always been done. So therefore, this is how we need to do it, right? Understanding why this is why we've always done it this way. That's helpful, right? Because sometimes, well, we've always done it this way and there's a reason for it, but it's also, I don't know, you can get stuck, right? And then I was thinking, okay, well, if I get stuck in, this is how I always do things. It's like, well, I can get stuck in good habits too. So I started this, started reading Atomic Habits so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make a habit and I'm gonna write my implementation intention, intention implementation. I don't remember one of those two words are in some order. And so I decided something small, right? You're supposed to do something small that helps you. And so I decided, okay, I am going to drink more water. Okay, I realized I needed to get my album here with all of my Dan one page sheets. Um, okay, so I decided I'm gonna drink more water, you know, with like the bigger goal of just like health, right? Working on health. So you're supposed to set something that can be done within two minutes and then you, you know, you get rid of all the kind of the roadblocks and it's another term that he uses for that that I don't remember. 
um, and you know, make it like really easy to do. So, okay, I start this, right? And then I decide, well, I need a new water bottle. Obviously, right? <laughs> So I, and I, because I, you have to be really specific with the habit. So it's not just, you know, drink more water. It's, you know, how much, when, um, and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, this does not, for some reason, this sheet of the, the boxes have been, has been so hard for me to get off. Um, anyway, so, um, I decided I needed a new water bottle because my, my habit that I was trying to do was that I will drink, 16 ounces of water before I brush my teeth in the morning. So I knew it couldn't necessarily be like the moment I woke up, right? But before I brush my teeth in the morning, okay, that gives me a little bit of time because I get up and, you know, I used to take a shower and I do my makeup and, you know, my hair and all that stuff. And then I brush my teeth. Um, so I figured, okay, well, <laughs> you know how it goes. So again, I need to make it easiest for myself. So 16 ounces of water. Well, yeah, there's a glass, but then I realized, okay, especially going back to work, I'm going to need this water bottle in my bedroom or the bathroom, you know, like right there so that I can start drinking it right away, especially because I want to be able to drink it sooner rather than later. So I can go to the bathroom before school starts, because if I drink all that water and then I have to go to the bathroom, but I have to wait till recess anyway things if you're a teacher you know what I'm talking about um so you know I didn't want to like a giant water bottle I wanted 16 ounces so it's really hard to find a 16 ounce water bottle that's not for like little kids and then it tends to be 12 or 14 anyway I found this one it's a Stanley one right the whole Stanley craze it's the first Stanley cup that I have um and it's 20 ounces but I figured okay I just won't fill it quite all the way you know and then like if it has a straw there's some that you don't drink anyway so it came and my husband saw it and he was like um did you really need another water bottle? I'm like, yes, yes, I did. It's my morning water, water bottle. He just kind of rolled his eyes, which, you know, fair enough. That's, that's fair. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's my fun story about my habits, but um, I have not been successful, I will say. I have not been successful um, every day this week. I've been successful more often than not, which is good. Um, you do want to make a habit that, um, you know, once it becomes easy and boring, then you know that it's time to um, ramp it up, develop a new habit, add another part to the habit, um, all that different stuff. And so um, I'm hoping I can really get into a routine now that school's going to be starting. Um, I go back tomorrow which is, I'm sad. I'm sad winter break is over. I'm excited to see my kids. I'm excited to see um, my colleagues. Well, let's be honest, most of my colleagues I'm excited to see. Um, and my, my class, obviously. I'm excited to hear about their break and everything like that. It's a good group of kids. Um, but holy cow, have I enjoyed winter break. Okay, um, so I have my full box here. Um, I love trying. I love putting this um, big sparkle page, sparkle box, cloud box. That's what it is, cloud box. Um, overlapping on the double box sometimes when I can, um, and then I like to have another, either deco or full box there. So I'm kind of looking. There's all these fun flowers. Gosh, these checklists are just so cute, but I don't need them. Um, so here are the different full boxes I have. Oh, these are so cute. Maybe I want to put one of these. I'll put the little flower shop. Oh my gosh. So cute. I love the little like shops or stands. I think it's adorable. Okay. And then I'll put my reading here and I'll put kind of the highlights of the day. This is, this serves, this, this planner really serves as my memory planner. Um, also I keep track of the reading. I have a reading planner. Of course I do, right? If you watch my video, you saw that. But I, I really update that weekly. I don't, um, this is something I go into, I try to go into every day. So it's an easy place for me to jot down my reading um, before I put it in my reading planner. Okay, over here, um, let's see. I've got all this deco. Oh my gosh, I have this deco also. So cute. 
Um, this pink is okay. It kind of goes with these little, what are these called? Mac macaro macarons? I'm not sure. I probably said that totally wrong, but I will put something over here because I don't particularly like that. I'll put a little Connie. I just don't like the little thumbtack with this specific spread. Um, okay, then I want to put, I could either put deco up there or I could put a full box. These are the full boxes I have. Here's the deco I have. I'd love to use that Eiffel Tower somehow, but that's going to go over the box and that would look strange. So what do I want to do? This is like the trickiest part for me, figuring out what I want to use. I've got all this deco too. Okay, time for me to figure that out and you can just watch. Okay, so I added some full boxes. I mean, really, how adorable is Poe in his little outfit? Okay, I love how I've got all these different critters here. Mm, I doubled up Connie, that's okay. Um, then I've got, this is my um, typography album. So I'll get out my highlight stickers. I'll need these again. So I think I'm gonna go with kind of that contrasting pink and blue color. So I'll use the light blue over here. And I just like to put this down and put the highlight sticker over it. Adds a little bit of color to these kind of bigger, empty spaces. Okay, and I think I'll use this. I don't know, maybe I'll use the kind of cursive It seems fancy for France. Why is it the French thing seems fancy? Why is that? There's gotta be a reason for that. Okay. And I think my spread is done. This is going to be a fun little treat when I make it to March after our extra day in February. And you can see I have a ton more stickers. And I'm see in these daily spreads, I never can use the half boxes for anything. I'm well, not that I can think of. I'm sure lots of people use them. I just haven't thought of something to use them for. But I have tons of stickers to use for a couple weekly spreads and probably another couple daily spreads. Maybe I'll do another one in April or something like that or May because I feel like this is a fantastic spring into summer kit. All right, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful week. Happy planning.